Hello everybody, how are you doing? It is Thursday night. Been kind of an odd week, you know, I thought, <laughs> I really thought I would have some time in the shop this week and just have not had any time in the shop. Sometimes that's the way it goes. Um, I got a few minutes tonight, so I'm gonna try to get at least one pin turned. I'd like to get two turned. I do have the video for the Route 66 pin. Uh, hopefully, maybe tonight I'll start editing that uh, and get that ready for you guys. I'd like to drop that tomorrow or Saturday morning. Uh, but I'd like to get a couple of other videos in the tank because I'm going to have uh, some time away from the shop coming up again. I'd like to just have some videos to just, you know, keep dropping on you guys uh, so you can kind of enjoy some of the pin, pins that I'm turning from, from the show. And I want to, you know, I want to show you a little bit more about the vendors and all that stuff. So we'll work on that. But real quickly, I have got three packages here that I want to open. We're going to do a little mail call. And um, one of them... <laughs> I've had for several days now. I have not opened it. The other two I've done a little peeking, so it's kind of hard not to, but let me get the camera set up here and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, do a quick mail call. I got everything set up on my little side table here today because obviously the table saw is full of all the pin blanks. So we're going to start out with the first one here. Now, I've already mentioned that this one was coming. Benny Ray Watkins is, is like a good friend of mine and he saw that I had this outdoorsman blank and I showed it to you guys. It's the one with the fishing line and the fish hook in it and uh, antler on both ends. And I've got that blank, but I did not have a pin kit for it. So Benny said, hey, I'm going to send you one. And he sure as heck did. There it is right there, a three-quarter inch bolt in gunmetal. This is going to look amazing. I, now I can get this pin into the rotation. And the cool thing is this one came already pre-squared up. So bottom line, we're just going to set it right over here on the table saw. And uh, it's going to come up in the rotation very soon. I got a package here from Rick Monroe, and I'm not going to read the entire letter. I've already opened this one, I'll be honest. Uh, I just couldn't wait. I, I knew it was coming, and I was excited about it. But uh, it is Valley Oak, and Valley Oak, let's see if I can read a little bit about that. Uh, it's the largest of the North American oaks. It is endemic to California, growing in interior valleys and foothills. And um, mature specimens can, uh, main, uh, can attain an age of 600 years. It's a deciduous oak requiring year-round access to groundwater. The sturdy trunk may exceed 10 meters in diameter and surpass 30 meters. Uh, that's 100 feet in height. So that's a pretty darn big tree. It tolerates cool winters, dry, hot summers, and requires abundant water. So this is pretty cool. And uh, this is a, let's see if I can find here. He talked about the tree is protected and a permit is required from the city for trimming and removal. So... This is really cool wood now. I want to show it to you. And, and there's something else in here too. Take a look. Isn't that beautiful? It, it, it's just, it, it, whoa, almost dropped it. It's much denser than standard oak. I don't know how well you can see it. But if you take a look at the ends, it it's kind of looks a little bit like oak. But it looks like it's denser. I, and I don't know if that's the way he cut it or if it's just the way the wood grows. Uh, very cool. Very hard wood. And he sent with it, he made a pen for me. And he sent me this pen to kind of show me what it looks like. And this is, this is what, let me turn around toward the light a little bit. Does this help a little bit? No, let me turn away from the light a little bit. Yeah, I think that helps. You could kind of see better. Take a look at the grain in that wood. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. that that's, what, that's what you've got to look forward to with this. So I'm really excited about turning, about turning this pen, or turning this wood. I think it's going to make a beautiful pen. I just need to find the right kit. I kind of like this one he's got. This looks like a... Uh, a um, um, oh shoot, what's the pin I turn? I turn all the time. A Sierra Click, which is kind of nice. I need to get some click pins. I've been wanting to turn some click pins. I'm going to have to buy a batch of click pins because they just seem like a lot of fun to turn. This last package here comes from my good friend Thomas Tate. And I know what it is because Thomas and I went back and forth about it, but I just hadn't looked at it yet. All right, let's see. First off, let's take a quick peek at his note. All right, um, let me pause on the note. I'll go ahead and open this. It says open carefully, so I'll be really careful as I cut the tape here. It was wrapped really well. I got all the paper off of it, and now take a look at this little box. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Let me go ahead and get a razor blade, and we'll uh, get the tape cut on the box. That should do it. Oh, wow. Check this out. I'm going to turn around again to see. Let, let, let me bring the camera over here and show this to you under some good light. Take a look at that. Isn't that beautiful? 
It's Bacote. And let me read the note. I think it was turquoise. I want to make sure. Dear Bob, this is the ring that I told you about. I really hope you enjoy it. The core was made with Bacote. And um, let's see. Uh, the inlay is uh, Apate. A-P-A-T-I-T. -A Appetite, maybe? Appetite? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. And green glowstone. I wasn't able to put as much of a CA finish on the inside of the ring due to the size of the core. You can modify it as you see fit. All right. This is great. This ring will glow in the dark, so that's pretty cool. I will uh, try tonight, I'll charge it up, and when it gets darker, I'll try to uh, uh, get it to glow, and hopefully I can show it in the video. But thank you, Thomas, I really appreciate that. I've been asked quite a bit lately, which pin are you gonna turn next? And it's gonna be this one. This is from uh, Drop Anchor Creations, and it's the Woodstock pin kit. And I'll show you a quick shot of the kit, or the, I'm sorry, the blank. And I've got a Monarch kit that I'm going to use with it. And I like this one because it was kind of psychedelic looking. So I think it's going to make a really cool pin. So I'm going to turn this camera off and we're going to get this on the lathe and turn it. I want to give you guys a close-up of this blank. Check it out. There's a little piece of the stage right there in, in the center of the blank. It's really a beautiful blank. All right, let me get her turned up. Well, guys... I did it again. The curse of one more pass. I had just a little lip on the end of the blank and I went to take that lip off and I caught and just destroyed it. This one is trash. And I'm really, really disappointed because I loved that blank and I'm just, ah, I'm so mad at myself. So I'm gonna have to contact Drop Anchor and I'm gonna have to order another blank from them and get them to send it to me so that I can turn this particular blank because I really wanted to showcase this blank uh, in these videos. God, that's just frustrating as heck. And I just, I mean, it just, I don't know how I did it. I'm gonna have to go back and watch the video. Okay, well, we're gonna move on. I can't let this stop me. I'm gonna go on to another blank and uh, we just keep moving forward. Well guys, I got a great looking bolt action pin here. This is a second amendment bolt action pin. I put this together. I tell you what, it's still early, but I'm, I'm done in the shop tonight. This was a bad night. I blew up my Woodstock pin. And then as I was assembling this pin, I didn't pay any attention to the battery life on my phone. I got the nib pressed in. I was working away, putting this thing together, giving tips on the, the back half of the pin and everything. No camera, totally black. So I lost that. And then I, I lost a bushing over there somewhere. I haven't been able to find it because of all the dust. I threw the rose nib on the floor accidentally as I was trying to put the ink in the pen. I pressed it on and I let it shoot off of the spring. It's just been one little thing after another. And I think that is, that's a warning that I don't need to be in the shop tonight. Uh, it's just not, things aren't working out the way they should. I'm calling it quits. I got lucky. I got one gorgeous pen. I'm happy with that. I got probably 80% of the video. I'll take that. We're going to go in the house and we're going to start working on putting some video together for you guys so that you can uh, see the assembly of, well, actually the other pin first and then this pin. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for hanging out with me and uh, we'll, we'll see you again real soon.